Hello, my name's Manjot Singh. I'm an enterprise architect at MariaDB, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, transaction replay, just building upon some of our other videos with the MariaDB platform uh, and, and some of the features that, that come with, with the full package. Um, so MariaDB platform has uh, a few components, and one of the ones we'll talk about here is MaxScale, uh, which is the router. And the feature within it is uh, the read-write splitter. Uh, MaxScale has, has quite a few features that you can build upon like Lego blocks by pulling in different modules. Uh, the read-write splitter gives you uh, the ability to split your reads and writes automatically with um, basically obfuscating the architecture for the application. So the application just does its reads and writes to MaxScale uh, as if that's the database and underneath MaxScale uh, you could have a primary, uh, you could have a replica, and you can have another replica even. And what happens is the primary replicates to the replicas, max scale runs, uh, writes writes to the primary, uh, and reads from uh, the replicas. So what happens if that primary fails? How does that affect the app? Well, before the, the transaction replay option, what would happen, uh, max scale's automated failover would say, Oh, primary, you're down. What do I do? The replica becomes the new primary, and it'll pick the most up-to-date replica. Uh, and then it will set up, basically, removing that connection and that connection, will set up new replication uh, from the new primary to the replica. And if this guy comes back, uh, it will come back as a replica as well. Uh, and then it will also start doing writes to the new primary. Uh, but what happens during that, that blip, and this happens within, you know, split second at the most, five, 10 seconds. Uh, what will happen is the application uh, ha may have transactions running, they get disconnected, the application needs to retry. With transaction replay, MaxScale actually remembers everything that it was doing with the currently running threads from the application and it will run them again on the new primary. And that includes all your settings. Uh, maybe you had a certain collation set or you had some variables in memory. Uh, it will run all of that again on the new primary and return to the application uh, just like that. It, it, is, it is quick, it is fast, it is efficient, and it is accurate most importantly. Um, so transaction replay really gives you some power and all the application will see is, huh, that query ran a little slow. But underneath, you may have all this uh, topology movement and, and failover and getting paged. <laughs> so uh, it, it's really great because it keeps you up. It keeps you from having downtime. Uh, and it keeps uh, your application resilient, uh, most importantly. So that's transaction replay. Thank you.